going everyone caleb here with latent gaming next up tonight guys it's going to be four nightfall spell books and it is going to be two wilderness booster boxes uh thank you so much man you appreciate it uh just one second here working on one thing Okay, just give me one second, like I said. Just gotta upload that last one quick. Perfect. Benjamin, let's do it, man. Thanks again. We'll get it going with four of the spell books. I got a couple of booster boxes right after that for me. Here we go. So the secret rare to chase in Nightfall is called Old Scratch. Uh, just one of them. It is short print to 100. Uh, people think it's only in booster boxes of Nightfall. However, you never know it. Honestly, like, with Madden man, you can't be too sure ever. You get this awesome promo card guaranteed in each box. It is sick looking. Features like all the best Nightfall characters. You'll get that each and every time. Cosmic Aura deck and the Metazoo sleeves. That is a coin for you as well. We'll also get those out for you. And 10 packs. Here we go. Good luck. Uh, Boogeyman Reverse there. Potion Seller. Should be an awesome way to uh, get you just loads of cards, man, for your deck. Obsidian Reverse. Potion Seller. Yeah, I can definitely do all cards ship on the products here for you. Old Books Crying Tree and a Headless Coal Miner. It's going to be another Boogeyman Reverse. Also got Permafrost. Mothman Reverse. Nice hit there. Congrats, man. Great Reverse Hollow Mothman. Very nice. Nice, Benjamin. Good stuff. Righteous Reckoning. Boogeyman again. You got enough uh, Boogeyman's almost for a playable set. Wallow Lake Crustacean. That is the Reverse Hollow. Dark, wa uh, Dark Watchers. Purple Blob of Philadelphia. There you go. Momo. Appreciate the order, man. Uh, you got the Tehman. Reverse. Bell Witch. You'll also have a bunch of these awesome sleeves if you want to use these for your decks. I'm coming your way. And then, also, I should actually explain what this is. Jack Frost Reverse. Uh, this, this, literally this entire brick is just aura cards. So this is awesome for players as well. Very useful. Here we go. Next one. Spellbooks are kind of like the ultimate player's guide, obviously. Kind of built for players. Here we go. Got the rule book here. I'll also get you a rule book in the mail, of course. You got the nightfall there. There's that. Sleeves. And the coin. Coins do have utility as well. If you are ever at a card show, Benjamin, you can trade a coin for an autograph from one of the MetaZoo artists. They do sign the cards quite often. However, you do have to exchange a coin. Uh, get the coins from the spellbooks. Oklahoma Octopus Reverse and the Blister Packs as well. So they've even got their own utility there as well. Crazy Critter of Bald Mountain, Permafrost. Pretty sweet. Dover Demon Reverse. Also got Lightning Split. Uh, Kinderhook Blob that time. Reverse Hollow. And the Born from the Earth card. Uh, Momo Reverse. There he is. Also got Wood Devil of Koo Country. Uh, another time in. Righteous Reckoning. 
Columbia River Sand Squink Reverse. And a Grim Reaper. Nice. There you go. Lightning Alley, Reverse Hollow, Wood Devil. Two to go here. It's going to be Permafrost Reverse Hollow. And a Mothman Non Hollow. Nice. Last one. And got Boogeyman Reverse again. Bellwitch. On to the next one. Good luck. Here we go. There's a spellbook for you. Third one coming up. Following it up with a couple of booster boxes. And then I got James T. Also going with a Wilderness Booster Box. I'll also get you out one of the playmats as well. There. Nightfall promo is that deck of auras. Sleeves. Ten packs and the core. Here we go, man. Thanks again. All right, perfect. Ten more Nightfall. Let's do it. Purple Blob again. Prism Beam. Love that Purple Blob card. So sick. Uh, another Tahamin. Ocean Cellar. Headless Nun that time. Reverse Hollow. And the Stalactals. Momo. Reverse Hollow there. Bellwitch. Headless Horseman. Nice reverse. Congrats on that. Awesome. Headless Horseman. Beautiful reverse hollow. Congratulations, man. Alaskan Vortex. Hey, have a good night, Sean. Thanks, man. You as well. Have a good night. Kinderhook Blob reverse. And the Jack Frost. <coughs> Excuse me. Keep going. Uh, Beast of Bladenboro Reverse Hollow. Born from the Earth. <laughs> Obsidian Reverse. Reduction. Werewolf of Defiance. And Potion Cellar. Dover Demon. And I have the Sourceman. Alrighty, let's do it. One more of the Nightfall Spellbooks. Two booster boxes to follow. Good luck. Perfect. Let's see what we can find for you, man. Last of the Spellbooks here. Promo. Uh, auras there. Coin. And sleeves. And a bunch of packs. Thanks again. There for now. Get it going. Abduction full hollow. Very nice. First full hollow. Here you go. The spellbooks are uh, the spellbooks from Nightfall, I should say, are pretty notorious for having a ton of reverses. However, they are not guaranteed. So there you go. Full hollow on the abduction. Nice. Very cool. Boogeyman. Uh, prison beam. going to be Axe Handle Hound and Lightning Alley. T. Kettler. Got Dark Watchers. Twin Meteor Reverse Hollow. Nice. Uh, Adam Ackler. Napper Rebobs Reverse. Bellwitch. Familiar Reverse, River of Time. It's going to be this time Wood Devil of Pooh Country and Bell Witch. Two left. Turtle Bottoms Monster Reverse and an Old Book's Crying Tree. All right, last pack of Nightfall, and then we've got a ton of Wilderness. Few Folds. There you go, Reverse, Guardian Angel. 
here we go, man. Let's get on to it with a whole ton of wilders. Good luck and appreciate it. Oh, can we do two booster boxes coming up for you? Slide that back. Let's get it underway. Good luck, man. First box. Slice that there. Perfect. All righty, here we go, man. Empty one there. Let's do it. Grab a little bit of water quick. Get into it. All right, here we go. 36 Wilderness. Jason, some secret rares. Good luck, man. River Mermaid. Verse Hollow. Chibi Jack Low Perverse. River Aliens. Medford Schmooze. Joe Magarak. Here you go. First full out of the box. Snolly Gaster. Good stuff. Full hollow. Grass there. Nice hit. Cucumber Dragon. Uh, let me grab some sleeps. All right, let's keep it going. Very solid so far. Big Bird, Reverse, and Golden-Haired Girl. I've heard that, Chris. I don't play MetaZoo personally. I've heard that, though, from uh, another customer. Ryan P. has said that the uh, uh, MetaZoo, if you do understand like the basics of magic, you would probably be able to pick up MetaZoo. Living Earth Sigil, that is the reverse there. Um, however, I know there are also like some funky twists and turns that MetaZoo does add as well. Because MetaZoo kind of has like almost like a region aspect to the game as well so your current location in the world actually like impacts different decks and stuff like that really nice hit there prism aura congrats man best card in the set there very nice love that <clears throat> but um what i was saying is a lot of the basics do kind of boil right back down to some of the basics of playing standard magic Bouncing of Youth Reverse. Um, so if you do already have that background knowledge, uh, you might actually do all right in picking it up. Megalodon Tooth there. Fountain of Youth. Chibi. Uh, Cucumber Dragon. Also got Germinate. Hornet Token. And there you go. Full Hollow is Rocky. Nice one there. Nice Rocky full. Old Man Winter. <clears throat> I need to, uh, need to try out MetaZoo sometime. Huge fan of collecting it, personally. I uh, haven't done the TCG yet, like I said. Kind of been stuck on Hearthstone, like, the last, like, two or three months, actually. Just playing, like, a ton of that game. Trying to get to a really high, uh, ranked record. John Henry Reverse, Big Bird. There is, um, a newer TCG coming out <clears throat> in just a few months. The... TCG is called Nostalgics, Fur Bearing Trout, and it's going to have a lot of the same um, mechanics and ideas that are associated with Hearthstone. So I've kind of been refreshing my skills. Seafood Barbecue, nice full, and I'm pretty excited to pick up Nostalgics as well. That is a product we will be carrying, and the world uh, worldwide launch is July 1st, I believe, with the booster boxes of Nostalgics. And like I said, it does take on a lot of the characteristics of the Hearthstone TCG, which is a great uh, mobile game. Not by the best company, Blizzard, but uh, the mobile game itself is really nice. Frozen Spirit Sigil, really like that card game. Yeah, that's nice, Chris, that's nice. There you go, nice one, Evil Vaporeon. Beautiful. Mishy Pishu, full hollow, congrats, tough to hit that one. I sit there for you, Big Bird. Yeah, Chupacabra comes out of uh, Cryptid Nation. It is a sick hit. 
There's just so many awesome artworks with MetaZoo. It really can draw you in. Collectability is very high. Uh, Iowa Dragon there. What's up, Matthew? Explosive Rabbit. Look out. Petrified Wood. <clears throat> it's got a lot of nice stuff going for it, man. That's for sure. You got these fancy, crazy, numbered, special parallels. Golden Bear. Iowa Dragon. Everyone wants them. They're going to sell for huge money. Just, it's not standard. Old Man Winter. Full. Black Dog. We've seen them do some short prints in the past. Most most of them um, reach about 8, 10 to 12k. Depending on condition. So, expect these to be similar. Grass Man. Frozen Spirit Sigil. It's huge value in, uh, in a gaming card. It is. Lizard People and the Jackalope. And that's why we keep hunting for them. Yeah, sure enough, that's literally what I just was saying, almost. Starlight Sigil, full. Sure enough, Matthew. Like I said, I had a feeling he was going to stay right around that price range. That was pretty consistent across all the other uh, Seeker Rare short print cards. So, 100%. That Chibi Bigfoot there, also got Hateful Demise. Yo, what's up, Ryan? Yeah, that was, uh, those were some of the larger hits that you missed in the last hour. Um, we just did an Ultimate Masters magic box for Clyde as well. Really nice box of Ultimate Masters. I uh, had Phyrexian Altar and had a nice, uh, couple other nice hits. We had a really good box topper. <laughs> yeah, that's huge, Chris. John Henry, that is huge. Alpha, Beta, Black Lotus, all of them are massive. Any of them, man. Starlight Bloom, nice full. Uh, Fountain of Youth. Yeah, huge, huge cards. Very nice Starlight Bloom. Especially if they're in good condition. They can be extra huge. Black Dog, Green Clawed Monster. Awesome when TCGs do have those insane chases, though. Python, Golden Haired Girl. The crazy thing is, though, Chris... Um, with Magic, with the Alpha set, with the Beta set, we're talking about sets that are 25 to 30 years old. With Wilderness, we are talking about a set that released 10 days ago. <laughs> so it's nuts to see um, that kind of value in Ultra Modern. Nuts. Night Marcher Traverse. And then you get into a little bit deeper with MetaZoo, and you have something like this here, um, Kickstarter. Uh, Kickstarter goes for, you know, 280 a pack on the website, which is huge. Single pack. Yeah, you know, very, very, uh, very modern stuff that has huge value in MetaZoo. It's kind of unheard of, man. Token Sitter, nice full. Very nice one. Token Sitter for you there. Congrats, Benjamin, golden-haired girl. Yeah, the hollow cosmic topper, that one is nice. Frozen Spirit Sigil Reverse. Jackalope. Second box, man. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah, that's huge, Matthew. That's huge. Alpha. Very nice. Very nice. Massive one. Let's do it. Second box. This one's got, like, kind of a funky wrapping on it. It's got to have something crazy inside, right? It's got to. Come on. Please. Please. Yeah, it's ridiculous, Chris. I mean, really, any magic, though, that's, like, 20-plus years old is worth crazy money. But, specifically, Alpha and Beta. But, I mean, there's a lot of expensive magic. <laughs> Got some fancy wrapping. Haven't seen any like this. Haven't seen any like this. Yeah, hypothetically, Ryan. Hypothetically. That is the, the thought. Unless MetaZoo would just go to zero. Which is just, like, doubt it. Oh, yeah, I wonder if that was maybe Alpha Investments Rudy uh, doing that one. I know he's done some super high-end magic on his channel quite often. Yeah, no, so true, Ryan. So true. Even at some of the greatest uh, card shows, you won't find anyone selling it. Token Sitter, Midnight Lake Sigil. So true. Uh, Jellyfish Reverse, Chibi Bigfoot. Yeah, I usually watch, like, somewhere between, I don't know. Well, on my days that I work, I probably watch, like, three of his videos a day. 
on days that I don't work, I'll probably watch like five to seven of his videos <laughs> in a day. Old Man Winter, full. Definitely my favorite channel to watch. Sometimes I rewatch stuff. Uh, sometimes I'm watching old, old stuff. Nice Old Man Winter. Yeah, man. Shining Fates is great, Joshua. It is great. You've got the Charizard Chase, but then um, the Shinies have great value. And there's tons of them. Uh, packs do not stop giving out hits in that set. Radioactive Hornets, Jellyfish. That is why the Charizard Chaser has always been one of the most popular bundles, I think. Because those Shining Fates hits, like, every time you leave that bundle with a hit. Because, like, Shining Fates always has one. I mean, not every time, but it feels like it. Yeah, that's super nice, man. River Aliens. There you go. Full. Iowa Dragon. Nice River Aliens. Full Hollow. Here you go, man. Same, Chris. But since it is a holiday set, it doesn't surprise me. Same, I hear you, and I agree with that. River Aliens, Hateful Demise. Um, it probably will. But honestly, like I said, uh, it's a holiday set, so it just doesn't surprise me. Because they did the same with Hidden Fates for so long. River Mermaid, Big Bird. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, Cucumber Dragon, Megalodon Tooth. Oh, yeah, 100%, Ryan. It is. It is. I agree with that. Trout, and we got Jackalope. Keep going, guys. Chat is moving for 10 people watching. Appreciate it, everyone. Rocky, everyone watching is engaged and active. Love to see it. Late at night on a Sunday. There he is, Bigfoot full. Nice hit. Congrats on that, Bigfoot. Very nice. Golden Bear. Always appreciative, guys. Going for you, Benjamin. Jackalope Reverse. Big Bird. <clears throat> uh, next stream tonight, or is tomorrow night, guys. Janet and Rosetta. Kindling Spark Roots. We got personals going all night, starting at 6. Yeah, I think so too, Ryan. I do have to... I need to actually get my wilderness set all figured out like Tuesday. I don't have too much more to get in the set have most of the cards i think rose robinson i think i need a full of that one yeah i've done solid on my personal rips of this product of course i haven't hit any numbered cards or anything you guys would know about that black dog full golden haired girl but it's some nice stuff i had a prism aura on my like second pack of this product so can't really complain uh kindling spark root and a black dog all right, second half. And the next up tonight is going to be James T. Also has a wilderness box going. Stone Man. Nice hit. Beauty. Congrats on that, Benjamin. Nice Stone Man. Full. An Iowa Dragon. <laughs> oh, man, Ryan. Oh, man. Haunted Tundra. Midnight Lake Sigil. Oh, man. Seafood Barbecue. Nice full there. Love that. Congrats on that hit. Gorgeous card. Nice Seafood Barbecue full. Old Man Winter. Oh, for sure, Matthew. We've been saying it, man. <laughs> we've been ripping 10, 11 days now of... Or I guess we've probably been ripping about 7 or 8 days of Wilderness. But, yeah, we've been ripping. <laughs> we have been ripping. Starlight Bloom. Hey, sounds good, Joshua. Sounds good. It's not a whole ton. I might still rip another box or two as well. So I might end up pulling it. We shall see. Scorching Rod Sigil. Full. That's the thing. Like, the numbered hits and the big chases that we still don't know about. Kind of make it so that, uh, you know, you want to keep ripping it. Haunted Tundra. Shimmy Bigfoots. Yeah, Chris, the Brilliant Stars pull rates are pretty friendly. Although, Chris, I will say, um, don't be too surprised, Chris, if, like, one month from now, there is just, like, Brilliant Stars is just not available. I would not be surprised, Chris. Brilliant Stars is getting very, very tough for us to get, and that is super concerning because they have not even released the next standard English set. So usually it is in uh, full supply. And it is not in full supply right now. So don't be surprised 
if something funky happens with Brilliant Stars eventually. You got a nice one there, Snipe. Congrats, man. Great hit. You go, Benjamin. I'm uh, I'm pretty curious to see what happens with that set. They're, either they need to print more product, which I don't know if it's going to happen because they're already focusing on printing Astral Radiance. Um, or something needs to happen because there is not product out there right now. Starlight Sigil, Midnight Lake Sigil. It is disappearing. I think so as well, Chris. I think so as well. However, it is like, it's time. <laughs> it is time. Um, I can tell. I can tell because the, the market is, it is running dry. And we've got a seafood barbecue full. Nice one there. I think they will though. Very nice. Seafood barbecue full. Yeah, Ryan, we'd probably be interested in doing something like that. Golden Bear. Um, we would probably be interested. We've been able to do so many of these single pack breaks now. I think we'd probably be able to do, get the following uh, to do something like that. Rose, Reverse, Cumberland Dragon. And yeah, we'd be able to get that going at like um, like probably 275 a spot or so. Yep. Medford Schmooze, River Aliens. It would certainly be at the lower end of what you said. Uh, we just have to find another box, really. But I know Lane has already been uh, hunted. Yeah, that is, uh, that is appealing, for sure. Rose and Spirit Sigil, nice full. That would be interesting. That would be super interesting. You were thinking of doing Digit Style. Um, wow, that would be really interesting. Yeah, we could do a Digit Style. Um, I was thinking we would do Pack Style. But Digit Style would be fun. Digit Style would be fun. Nice, uh, Infectious Token there. There would be probably, uh, I'd probably do like three rerolls if we did digit style. I don't know. I'll have to really look at that more. It's a decent idea. That is a decent idea. I will think about that and kind of mess around with it because digit style could be kind of nuts. It would be expensive, but something tells me it could fill. Pink mess, golden haired girl, especially if we did like a bunch of rerolls. Um, honestly, I would probably just say go with the most recent expansion, Wilderness. I would probably stick to Wilderness, most recent. Or I would go to Cryptid Nation first ed. Um, if you're feeling like a baller, go for a Kickstarter pack. You can find them out there. They run, like I said, about 275 a pack, give or take. Um, depending where you find them and where you find them from. From a booster box, a, you know, not booster box. Uh, so yeah. Iowa Dragon, but I would say Wilderness is a great option still right now. It's the most recent expansion. It's going to be at the best price. Cryptid Nation is another great set, though. I will say that. Night Marchers and Jackalope, and nothing against Nightfall. Just kind of in a tough spot right now. It's still performing well as well. Nightfall is fun, and if you do like the like Halloween kind of cards, Nightfall is the set to go for. So the Halloween cards are loaded up in Nightfall. Token Sitter, and a Green Clawed Monster. All right, good stuff, man. Thanks again so much there. I can get a bunch of cards out to you. All cards ship for that, Benjamin. Uh, that's no problem, man. Happy to help with the decks. Hope you're having a good night, man. Appreciate it.